Hi people and hello my Chili Gunganas crew, it's Chili here, the man who produces Iron From My Eyes and I'm here doing a 5 minute review on Al Di Miola and his newest album, 24. If I wanted people to continue to believe that I'm only a metalhead, then this review would be evidence that I do venture into other genres. And Al Di Miola is certainly one of those artists who has been around for a few decades, inspiring many musicians with his style of jazz fusion, rock and acoustic, almost flamingo-esque style. The melding of his styles is a peculiar point in history that was aided by the fame brought on by Santana, but his work is very much in a different realm. Similar, I guess, to comparing Pantera to, say, Metallica. And that reference goes to all the metalheads who are watching this video out of curiosity. This latest effort is Aldi Miola's umpteenth album. Seriously, the man has done a lot of records, and I'm not counting them. And of course, he shows no signs of slowing down either, with 15 tracks to offer and a runtime of an hour and 22 minutes, putting the record just over the conventional runtime. And this just irks me, especially since amongst the mix, there is certainly a track or two that could have been cut, because oh boy, does this album feel like it goes on forever in parts. As much as I appreciate his music, I will admit it can get very dull very quickly, and this particular effort doesn't have too many tracks that particularly stand out. The first track is a seven and a half minute acoustic piece that is followed up by another five minutes of acoustic tuning before he finally introduces his signature electric guitar sound, which we knew was going to appear, but it was only a matter of when. And then the answer to that is 12 minutes into the record. Now, while also being a predominantly instrumental artist, his song Eden still caught me by surprise due to the addition of vocals. It was actually one of those moments I had to check that I was listening to the same record because I thought this can't be right. This doesn't sound like Al Dimioli. He doesn't sing. But alas, here we are, 10 tracks in or whatever it is, and of course there is singing on this track. It's one of the more memorable pieces from the album, and I feel that it is because of the additional singing. So it's a bit of a peculiar piece, because again, he is renowned for being an instrumentalist. However, this is one of the best songs off the record, and that's because of the singing. Weighing up the options here... I like it. Look, at the end of the day, this album was always meant to be a step above Muzak. It's the album you put on before eating dinner with a family, or uh, having a quiet Sunday afternoon with a few friends. Either way, it's not meant to be consumed in the normal fashion that we would expect other records to be played out. And of course, that has been Al Di Miola's style. Alas, he has had previous albums that have stood out, and ones that I could certainly replay based on their own merit, but I just don't find it on this effort and I feel that its extended duration is supposed to mimic its intended use. Because who wants to get up in the middle of dinner to change an album, especially when you are having a great meal? Overall, I'll give this album a score of 4 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Paradox, Eden, and For Only You. At the end of the day, this record isn't going to alienate any of his fans, but it's certainly not going to win over any new ones either. It's just fine, but in the same breath, it's a bit pedestrian. So it's not really an album that I'm going to replay, at least anytime soon. But tell me your thoughts in regards to this record. Did you love it or did you hate it? If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us and stay notified for future music related content because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day and stay spicy.